Church. We are located at Interfina House at the junction of Tomboya and Ronangala Street, basement floor. You can use the back entrance. For more information, call the numbers on your screen. Who would have thought that a lamb could rescue the souls of Ni kwa nini unaangamia? Why am I perishing? I am perishing for lack of what? Vision. We usiombe ule mgonjwa aishi, we muombe apate maono. Akipata maono basi kuishi lazima aishi kwa ajili ya nini maono iko hai on the theme of the message knowledge in serving the lord yani akili ya kumtumikia mungu Deuteronomy 28 verses 47 the bible says because you did not serve the lord your god joyfully and gladly in the times of what therefore in anger and dust in nakedness and in dire poverty you will serve the enemies the lord sends against you he will put an iron yoke on your neck until he has destroyed you Nobody who serves God will be defeated with his enemies. You are supposed to serve God with what? Joyfully, gladly in the days of your prosperity. Kwa maana Mungu angalia moyo. Mungu akiona roho yako, you will give back to him. Hakuna kitu yenye Mungu hawezi akafanya. Angalia consequences because in the days of prosperity ukiwa ni hiyo kazi Mungu amekupatia hiyo ni prosperity umepewa na ukitaka ku prosper serve God kwa maana lengo la Mungu ni akubariki ili uzidi kuwa baraka Second Corinthians 9 verse 11 anasema ya kwamba and the Lord shall make you rich in all way that in every occasion you may become generous kumtumikia mungu ni ngumu but if you can sacrifice in the things of god god will sacrifice to deliver your life it is my prayer to god that your life is going to change alipo bwana alipo bwana How have you come to know this place? Eh? Yeah. kwa kiti. Umetoka wapi? Kitengela. Uliona kwa TV. Ile shida ambayo imekuleta hapa ninaona umeaidiwa ndoa mara tatu na hakuna hata moja ya hizo marriage umeaidiwa ambayo imesimama. Yeah. And there is a man ninaona mwanaume ambaye ni pastor naambiwa na roho bwana ali change mind. Na amekataa kukuoa. Huyo jamaa naona ni pasta na alipo kwa hii ndoa. Ninaona from there kuna pesa ambayo naona uliwachilia 10,000 ya kununua viti na baada ya hapo tangu hiyo siku alikuacha. Hizi vitu ulitoa pesa ngapi kununua? 
10000 yeah. yeah. na baada ya hapo hakukuoa okay. yeah. na baada ya hapo amekataa kurudisha pesa yako yeah. kile kimekuleta hapa unataka kuuliza umekuja kuuliza Mungu maswali ni nini inaendelea kwa maisha yako all the time you are being rejected yeah. do you believe god ya kwamba leo hii nitakutoa kwa hiyo nira yeah. unaamini bwana atavunja hizo nila I believe. Wangapi wanaamini nira inaenda kuvunjwa? Wangapi wanaamini hizi nila zinaenda kuvunjika? Amen. Kile ninaona kwako, Mungu amekupa neema ya uimbaji. I talk to you under this anointing that that curse ambayo umesukumiwa that you cannot be married. Mungu ananiambia usamee huyo mtu wa Mungu. Shika mikono hii. Laana hiyo ambayo ilikukamata uwezo kukubalika na uwezo kaoleka. That is vunjwa na imeondolewa. We command it in Jesus. Alipo Bwana. Alipo Bwana. Alipo Bwana yote yawezekana. Siju ni anza wapi? Mnakumbuka huyo mama. Yule maid alichukua Bwana yake. Na tukasema Umejuaje hapa? Niliona jana. Kwa TV? Yes. Na ukaona kile Mungu anafanya. Wewe kile kimekuleta hapa ninaambiwa kwamba wewe ulienda ukaleta mwanamke maid kwa nyumba yako na baada ya kuleta huyo mwanamke maid kwa nyumba yako, huyo maid aligeuka akachukua bwana yako. Kweli? Eh? Yeah. Yo, na baada ya kuchukua bwana yako ninaambiwa kwamba baada ya kuchukua bwana yako ulifungiwa gate na ukaambiwa hautawahi pita hiyo gate na tangu hiyo siku haujawahi ingia ndani hiyo nyumba uko nje ya nyumba yako kweli na huyu maid ninaona ya kwamba alichanjwa na madawa au watu wote ambao wametoka majengo all these people who are from majengo ambao wanachukuliwa kama maid wakiingia kwa kila nyumba ya kila mtu lazima ndoa iharibike sasa hizi watoto wako wako kule ndani we umekatazwa uwezi ingia leo hii uchawi ya huyo maid inaenda kufika mwisho Huruma yako imefunguliwa unaenda kuingia kwa nyumba yako nyumba yako imefunguliwa enenda Mungu amejibu maombi yako Haujai kuja kwa hii kanisa. Hapa. Bwana yako anakutoroka kwa sababu au pati mtoto. Nimeondewa mara ya pili, mara ya kwanza nilielewa nikamaliza miaka tano Nikafukuzwa. Sasa niko na miaka miwili. Nimefukuzwa. Kwa ajili ya upati mtoto. Ndio. Wewe mama ro ananiambia ya kwamba umeoleka na the woman of the sea. Umeolewa na mwanamke wa bahari. And that's why maisha yako ni kustrago. Wewe hauna shida, hauna vibrod, hauna. Na huyo mwanaume akikuacha, akioa lazima azae mtoto. Si wameza? Hata huyo nilikuwa na yeye ameza na msichana mwingine. Na wewe hauna. Na ana shida kwa umbo lake. Na ndio maana ninafunuliwa huyo mwanamke anacheza kwa tumbo lake. Naona vinya anafanya. Naona vinya anacheza. Mama, nini huwa inakutembeleanga usiku? Kitambo nilikuwa nikitembelewa na nyoka. Na wakati hiyo nyoka ikikuja asubuhi eh? napata period. Hiyo nyoka ikikuja unapata period. Asubuhi. Hata kama ulikuwa na feel uko na mimba. Tumbo ilikuwa ikifura. Sasa mimi nadhani niko na mimba asubuhi period inakuja. Kwa hii ni pepo na itaondoka. Inua mikono yako. Hiyo roho 
ya mwanamke wa bahari na hiyo roho ya nyoka ambaye imetangaza uharibifu kwako ninainenea sasa kwa moto na kwa nguvu Re- come out it's coming out it's coming out it's coming out it's coming out hiyo nyoka inaondoka hiyo nyoka inaondoka hiyo nyoka inaondoka tetemeka uone awachilia moto ndani ya tumbo ndani ya mwili wake anza kuteketea waanza kuteketea anza kuteketea chomeka Cho, ndio hiyo inaenda 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 ina sema fire hey. my god popoto umeitwa interview na huku haipata kazi kama vile haya yamesambaratika ndio vile uwezo hiyo nguvu imesambaratika information call the numbers on your screen who would have thought that a lamb could rescue the souls of